So hello and welcome to this session on how to set up your unsubscribe link on your Techmatics emails. Unsubscribe links is not a choice. It is a matter of compliance. If you do not have unsubscribe links on your emails, you are non-compliant and you could get yourself in very hot water. So this is a very serious matter and you need to action what I'm gonna be showing you today. Now, this is not entirely legal advice. Doing this on its own is not the only thing that uh, you need to do to be compliant in your business. Make sure you have a lawyer or attorney to make sure you know what your legal obligations are as a business owner, but having an unsubscribe link is one of them. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that today. If you have any questions, drop them in the chat box or the comments area, and we will go through those. This session is gonna be about 20 minutes it's long. It's going to be a fairly uh, fast one compared to an overall training session, but we're going to walk you through these steps of what you need to do to keep your unsubscribe links in all the right places in your Techmatics account. So I'm going to go through the overview and then I'm going to take you through the demonstration of doing this inside your account. So what we need to do, first of all, is turn on our unsubscribe link setting. We then need to customize the wording that will go at the bottom of our emails such as if you want to stop getting emails from me, click here. Then we need to add that unsubscribe link to the footer of our master email template so that every time we send an email, that footer, that unsubscribe link is forever then set up. We only need to do this once. And from that point onwards, it's always going to be in our footer if we add that to our master template today. Then there are some other places inside Techmatics where you might send emails. So for example, another feature we have inside Techmatics to communicate with people is inside your conversations area, you can save what's called email templates, also called email snippets. So for instance, if you get common questions that people ask over and over and over again, you can actually save these little template replies inside the conversations area so that all you have to do is click a button and that template reply pops up in the conversation so you don't have to keep retyping stuff over and over again. You will need to copy and paste this unsubscribe link in those snippets so that you're compliant there. And you'll also need to copy and paste that unsubscribe link into any emails like text-based emails that you have preset inside any automated workflows. Because all of these are forms of communication by email to our customer base. And in order to maintain compliance, they do have to have that link on them. So once we've turned our unsubscribe link on, we've customized the click here if you don't want to hear from me anymore line. You've put that unsubscribe link in the footer of your emails. You've then pasted that same unsubscribe link anywhere else you're using it in Techmatics, such as the snippets or your workflows. Then the final step is going to be to test it to make sure it works. And there is a very important part of testing this that I will come to at the end, because if you are testing this in the wrong way, it's going to look like it's not working. Uh, so there is a little bit of a, a very important strategy that you need to hang on to here before you go, it's not working. <laughs> All right. So. Let's get ready to rumble. I'm going to log into our pretend test account here. And by the way, I will download this as a PDF, stick it in the Facebook group for you um, so that you guys can access this document as well. Now, first step is we need to turn on our unsubscribe link option. You're going to do that by heading into your Techmatics account. At the very bottom, click settings. It's going to take you into your main settings area. And inside your business profile over here, scroll down. And as you scroll down inside your business profile, you will see this option underneath general. You will see this option to make email compliant by adding an unsubscribe link in your email. So if you see this here under general, make email compliant by adding unsubscribe link in your email. You'll need to check that on. And this is going to enable you to have the unsubscribe link in your footers of your emails. All right, all done that. Our second step is to then customize the unsubscribe statement that we want in our email. And we do that by clicking on this customize button underneath this setting. So let's click customize. There's a template reply there for you. You might just want to keep it 
as it is, right? So if you no longer wish to receive these emails, you may do not touch this unsubscribe code, All right? That's gonna put your link in there for you. Um, but it's, you know, it may have something in here and you might just like to write, you know, Sarah, your name from me or your company name, whatever. You might like to change that to if you want to stop getting emails from me, click here. And that will turn, this here will turn into a link automatically. So please do not play with that. <laughs> you can play with the text, but do not play with this code because that will refill your link. So once you've done that, and that you're happy with that. By the way, you won't have this bottom bit. I'm uh, That's only an agency account. You're going to press save. And now you've completed the first two steps. You've turned on your unsubscribe link and you've customized that statement for people to unsubscribe. Now, the next bit is where we're going to customize the footer of our emails, our master template that we will use every single time we send an email. So you're going to go into back your marketing and emails section, click on up to your email builder. So remember, you've got in your emails section here, you've got email builder and email campaigns. Email builder is where you write your email. It's where you build the email. Campaigns is where you send the email that you've built. Okay, we're going to go into email builder because now we're going to edit our master template. And every single time you send an email, you need to go to the master template and press clone. Your master template is there to be copied every time you send an email so that you don't have to redo your master template every time you send one. Now, we have got a template in there for you already that all you need to do is edit with your own branding and your little footer that you've just created. So what we're going to do is click on our search box and type in master. And this will come up with one of the master templates that we've made for you. Perhaps you've made your own. We're first going to edit this master template so that we can use this every single time. Let's click on it inside our email builder. It's going to open up the build area. And this is where we're going to go to this stage now of, um, oh, what does it say, eFit, or it's supposed to say edit, where we're going to edit and customize the footer element. Let me make this a bit bigger for you guys. I just realized you probably can't read this very well. It's a bit small, isn't it? You, you are going to edit the footer of this email to include the two absolutely critical must-have non-negotiable elements in your footer. This is a legal GDPR compliance regulation. If you are sending email campaigns that are marketing based, you must have a full postal address and you must have an unsubscribe link. Failing to include those makes you non-compliant and open to liability. All right, so these are the two things we have to have in a footer. There's other things I do add to a footer, maybe follow, social follow links, um, other things that I'll show you in just a second. But those are the two things you absolutely cannot miss. They have to be in there, okay, for a compliance purpose. So let's go in and play around with an email template. Here's what an email template uh, roughly looks like. You might have an image that you include at the top. You've got your body of where you're going to pop your email content. You might have a PS at the end of each email. So one of the things I always recommend in, uh, in your email marketing is you have something helpful and interesting in the body. And then at the bottom of every email, you have a PS first name. Uh, here are X ways that I can help you get X result. And this is where you could pop in a link to your calendars for people to book a call with you. You could pop in a link to any of your courses or products or books or services so that it's really easy for people to see what you sell and buy it, right? <laughs> now, the um, what we're going to do here is really focus in on this footer that you will find at the bottom. Now, it will look, I'm going to make this a bit bigger for you guys so you can see better. It will look like a little bit of gobbledygook in the, in the fact that it has all of these pre-filled custom values for you. What this is doing is this is automatically going to suck in and pull over all of your information that's in your business settings. So you don't need to change these. And I'd say don't because we've added in some of these fields for you to uh, make this easier. It's gonna suck in your name, your address, your email account. Now, if this isn't showing in your master template, let me show you how to pull it over. 
Up on the top left-hand side of your email builder, you have a plus button. When you click on that plus button, it's going to open up all these different elements that you can drag and drop into your email builder. And one of them is called the footer. So if you've got a completely blank template in front of you, or this footer isn't showing for you, grab this footer, drag and drop. And this is going to give you a footer. As you can see here, this is going to come over really, really plain. We can edit this footer by clicking in this box. And this is where we can go in and change the colors, change the fonts. So for instance, I could change the text. I don't want to highlight the text, do I? Where's our, where's our fill button? Can't find the fill button on here. Appearance. I want to change it. Why can't I add colors on there? Where's it gone now? Where's the back? Um, yeah, you might need to have a different section. Like, for example, if you see the body, oh. it's actually separated with a footer. So oh. maybe you drag that element into the footer. So it will yeah, I put it inside the email body, haven't I? <laughs> yeah. There we go. I Change have to put it in a different section. Because you see here, guys, see this box? I've put it inside the body of the email, so I can't change the background. You need to actually create a whole new section. And one of the ways that you can do that is you press the plus button again underneath the elements. This is where you can add new sections. So I can add a whole new section there and then drop my footer into that section. Okay, so it's got its own section area where now I can change the background color to, for instance, pink, right? because it's his own section now. Whereas this um, editing this area of the email body, see here now the box is around the whole email body. If I was to press edit on that and change the background color, it's gonna change the background color of the entire email, which will look horrendous. So see there, that's, <laughs> that's what the email will look like. And we definitely don't want it to look like that. But our footer, we do wanna stand out. So I've changed the background to, in this example, pink, which means I'm gonna to need to change the text to white so that it's actually visible. Maybe you want to change the formatting to be centered. And now what we've got here is we've got the copyright now year location name. What the now year will do is put in 2024 um, automatically. Location name is your company account. So whatever your company account inside Techmatics is called, whether it's your name or your company name, that will show there. So for instance, mine will say copyright 2024 Sarah Cordner because that's what the, the information, these fields are sucking from your business profile. So whatever information you have in your settings, business profile, that's what's gonna be sucked over here. So the first thing you'll see here, it says our mailing address is location.email. Now that actually needs to be location.address. So remember to be compliant, the postal address has to be in there. How do we pull that over? We're going to either manually type it in or put our cursor here, custom values, and then you go to account and you can put in your address there by going address line one, address line two, city, state, country, postal code. Or you can even be very clever if you wanna get super techy. You can copy and paste the location.email field and type in location dot address. And that's actually gonna pull over your whole address. But of course you can manually type it there. This is your template you're gonna use every single time. So um, you can manually type it, that's fine. You can just write it there if you like. Uh, I also have location dot email because that will show my email address there as well. And this, you can unsubscribe from this list should now automatically pop up because you've turned on the unsubscribe link option here. So that should, when you drag this footer over, that should show. Now my recommendation is make this really obvious. I would highlight it, make it bold and make it really big. And in fact, I would even control cut, move it to the top of the footer and paste it there. Why? Because um, I've just found that some people just don't look all the way to the bottom and you do not want people um, reporting your emails as spam because from the 1st of February, 2024, any high spam reported based email domains 
are going to get punished by the servers. So the easier you make it for people to unsubscribe, the better. Now, some of you who look at my emails will see, I even copy this and put it at the top of the email as well. Why? Because so many people would rather just click a button that says report spam. So I've also been going copy, literally highlight copy at the very top of my email. If I get rid of this um, picture here. The very top of my email, I paste it there. Now, obviously it's white. Remember it's white. So if you go like, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Highlight because it was white down below. Change it. I change mine to red. If any of you see my emails lately, you'll see that I've actually been making mine bright red. Okay, you can unsubscribe from this list here, change it to centered. So I actually change my bit to if you oopsie, want to stop getting emails from me, unsubscribe from this list. Now that's a clickable link because it's taken the link from the bottom of the email. So now we've got unsubscribe right at the top. Then I have my email body. Then I have PS, here's all the ways I can help you. Then we have the footer where we've got the unsubscribe link there as well. Now you can't make this big enough in today's world. The huger and bigger you make it, <laughs> the easier it's gonna be for people to press that button rather than report you as spam, all right? You definitely wanna do that. Now that you've got your email, press save template over here. And this is going to be the template that you now use forever after. FYI, just to throw another little um, thing at you, you'll see here in mine, I've got a bunch of social media buttons that people can press inside the footer as well. To add that, you press add elements, that plus button at the top. And in your elements section, you should have this little social button. So you can drag and drop that over, click on it. And here is where you can go in and add your social media links and URLs underneath each of those different buttons. Again, save template once you've added all of that in. Now, every single time you send an email, you're, you don't have to redo that process. You're going to just clone the master. So every time I go to send an email, I go into marketing and emails, email builder, search templates. I go and find my master. And let me move me out of the way. Here, I click on the three dots on the right-hand side and we press clone. And this is where, like, let's pretend today's email is all about baking a cake, how to bake a cake. All right, dot, dot, dot. That's what I'm gonna name my email. You press clone. And now it's left the master as its master template. We are now editing a copy of the master. And you'll see here now, there's the link already in there. There's all our body, there's our footer. We don't have to keep on building this template every time. All righty. Next, before we move to the next stage, you'll see here, we now need to go and copy this footer and add it to any other places we might be sending emails from inside Techmatic. So as a review, we've turned on our unsubscribe link. We've edited our statement to say, here's how you can unsubscribe from my list. We've created a master email template with this link in the footer. And some of you may have also, like me, decided to add the unsubscribe link right at the top in people's faces as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the unsubscribe link and we're gonna add it to any other places we are sending email communication from. One of those places is what's called email snippets. These are like little email template replies inside the conversations area. And the other place we might be sending emails is inside automated workflows. So what we're going to do, first of all, before we leave our master template page, is we need to copy our unsubscribe sentence, okay? So you're going to say you can unsubscribe from this list here. Grab that, copy it. Okay, we're going to be using this now somewhere else. Let's first of all, go and find our email snippets area. First, for those of you who are not familiar, I'll explain what email snippets are. Um, inside, and then you find these inside your marketing and emails and your email snippets. But I'll show you how you would use this, first of all. 
Inside your inbox, this is where you receive communication. Um, it's if you've got your social media pages connected, this is where your inbox messages will come in from. It's where your emails come into and any communication you have with your customers all come in here. And so it's likely you're going to get asked um, things like the same repeating questions over and over again. When you, instead of retyping all of these, you can down here create a templated response to your commonly asked questions. And instead of having to go, hi, David, la, 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 and having to type out all that email again, here's the price for this service as requested, you can actually pre-prepare a reply inside these little snippets area. So I could go to insert a snippet. And if you've pre-prepared any answers, they will all show up here. David asked a specific question, use that template. Obviously, it's not a very good one here, but it will automatically fill it. Now, we need to make sure that all of these pre-written template replies also have the unsubscribe link option in them. OK, so what we're going to do to find that is we go into marketing and emails. We go to template snippets. Now, my doorbell just rang, FYI, so I may have to go and see what's going on out there. Uh, <laughs> we're going to press um, if we've got any in there already. Press edit on it and then paste your um, unsubscribe link. Now, remember, we had it white, so you might have to look for it. Ooh, can we change it to black in there? That's an interesting point, isn't it? Mm. Can we, can we? I don't think we can. I think I need to go and change it to black. Um, let's just open this page. I think I'll have to copy it from the top there. In that last email we did. Yes, sweetheart. I lost my tooth. You lost your tooth. She's lost <laughs> her tooth, everybody. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Check you out. The queen is here. Thank you, sweetheart, for opening the door. Uh, school holidays here still, guys. So we are going to go to our, ma our master template email because I want to grab that link, but in black rather than in white so that we can see it. So you're going to go to your marketing and emails, email builder section, type in master, go to your master template, and I'm going to grab that big unsubscribe link. But I am going to just temporarily change this to black, highlight it, switch it to black, Okay, copy it again, and then I'm going to go back to my email marketing template snippets. Any that I've pre-created, I'm just going to press edit on, and now I can paste that if you want to stop getting emails from me, do it here. And that will be clickable because you've copied and pasted it over. You're just going to press save, and now that's going to save and update all of your emails here so that you're compliant here as well. If you haven't done this yet, why not add this to your to-do list? So for instance, if somebody also always asks you, what's your pricing for whatever, you press add a template, add an email template, and your name is gonna be from you, um, pricing. Let's pretend the question's about pricing. And it's gonna be hi, custom value, contact, first name. Here is our pricing schedule for XYZ. Um, product one is XXX price. Product two is, oops, what am I doing? Yes, is uh, CCC price. Product three is price. Thank you. Love us. All right, so that's your template reply. Then you're going to paste in your unsubscribe that you've copied from your master template, press save. Now you have a new um, template snippet reply. So again, I'll show you now what that looks like now we've made it. If I go back to my inbox, let's pretend, here's Nat, let's pretend she's asked me about pricing. I can click on the template, drop down, and oh, I should have called that, sorry, I should have called that pricing, not Sarah Cordner. There it is, there's the email. So send. So again, I can now go back and edit that because I called it Sarah Cordner. Let's press edit, give it a moment. I'm going to call this pricing. Nice. Save. And now it's updated to pricing. So when anyone emails us about that, done. All right, we're nearly there. So we have now turned on our unsubscribe link, 
mastered our statement, created our master template with the unsubscribe links in it. We've updated any template reply email snippets saved in our system. And now we're also going to make sure that we've added our unsubscribe link to any emails that we've got inside our workflows. Now, um, we're going to do that by heading into make sure you've copied your unsubscribe link and that's still saved. We're going to go into our automated workflows and I will see if I've got any examples in here pre-made already. Uh, have I got like a ongoing nurture sequence or anything? No, I haven't. Uh, let's see if I can find anything on here. Lead magnet. I know. I don't even know if any of these are anything. These are all pretend dummy accounts. <laughs> so inside a workflow, for instance, this is an example of somebody has um, opted in to a particular product. We've granted them access to that product. Oh, and now they get sent an email. Here we go. So these are sort of text-based, oh no, it's not, that's, a, that's using an actual template. What I'm talking about in here is if you are sending what's called a text-based email from inside the workflows area. So you might send an email from here. It's going to be from you, from your email, blah, 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 blah. But this is where you're writing the email here rather than inside a template itself. So it might be hi, custom value, contact, first name. Excuse my dog. We've got the cleaners just arrived. Um, welcome to the XYZ course, whatever it is that your email is about, blah, 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 blah. blah. Right, again, this is where you're going to add your unsubscribe link, copy paste, the one that you pasted inside there. Save. Oh, it's not gonna let me do it because I haven't put in a subject. Cool, so there we go. So now when somebody opts into a thing, blah, 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 they get an automated email from inside the workflow. We've also covered our butts, done the right thing and put unsubscribes mm -hmm. in there too. So there we have it, my friends, now, you have um, set up all of your unsubscribes. You've made sure that you've got that unsubscribe link everywhere. The last thing we need to do now is test it. Oh, this is very, very important for you to know. When you test your emails, number one, you cannot unsubscribe from your own Techmatics account. So <laughs> you're not gonna see if you send it to yourself an unsubscribe link at all doesn't mean the system's broken. It's because you can't unsubscribe from your own account. Secondly, you have to actually send this email as a proper campaign, not as a test email, or it won't work. You cannot unsubscribe from a test. You can only unsubscribe from a real campaign. Let me show you what I mean. If I go into my email builder, so here we are, here's our email. We've written out all of our email, blah, 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 blah. You know, we're happy to send this now. We want to do a test. Normally what we do if we're testing an email is we click the three dots at the top and press send a test email. And we can send that to ourselves, even as the account owner, to see what the email looks like. Using this function is to test, does the layout look right? Is the formatting good? Do I want to change my spacing? Does it look okay? Do all my links work, right? That's what you're going to use the test email for in that instance. If you use this test email button to test your unsubscribe link, it won't work. You cannot unsubscribe from a test email because it's not a real email, it's a test. So what you will need to do to actually test the unsubscribe button is you will need to send this to your like another email address that you own as an actual campaign. Let me show you how to do that. We're gonna press save template. We're gonna go into our campaigns all right, into marketing and emails. So remember I said to you, inside our emails area, area, we build the email and builder, we send it in campaigns. So we could send ourselves an actual campaign email now to test whether this works. So click on campaigns, new campaign, and then what email do we wanna send? I'm just gonna send the master template <laughs> so that uh, we can test the master template unsubscribe button is working. So we're gonna send ourselves the master template. We're gonna press send. We're gonna send it now. It's gonna be from ourselves. All right, um, send a name, myself. <laughs> Subject line, me testing my master template 
unsubscribe. Okay. And then we're going to choose our contacts. Um, I don't even know if I'm in here as a contact. Oh, Sarah Cordner. There she is. Cool. So there's me as a contact in here. So you're going to find yourself, send it to yourself. One contact is selected, send. And now I'm going to just open up my emails. That's now a real email. So now I genuinely can test the unsubscribe. So first of all, Go and find the email account that you've done this test from. Go into, um, go into contacts. Um, I am going to go and find that Sarah Cordner, S Cordner at main training. There she is. So whatever test account you sent this to, click on that test account. And what we're going to just do here is have a look to see whether or not she gets DND'd. So let me explain. DND means do not disturb. If somebody's DND, do not disturb, is turned on, the unsubscribe has worked. All right. It means they have been set to do not disturb. This is how you have people who are contacts in your system and you can still continue to view all of their activity and everything they click on, and everything they do. But having the DND turned on like that. Um, will mean that this person won't receive email campaigns from you anymore, but you can still keep them as a contact in your database for the purposes of record keeping and client management. Okay. Ding, ding. Cool. So I'm going to just go double check now whether I actually received um, that email from myself <laughs> testing my TND. Let me have a look in my emails. Okay, I did. So just bear with me a second. I'm going to pull this email um, over. So I did get it, it's come through. It's gonna be easier if I show you this in real life. I'll just open it up on another screen in case there's anything confidential on there. Give me a sec. I think it's better if you see the process that your students are actually gonna go through or your contacts are actually gonna go through, isn't it? Let's do that. Um, okay, of course, it's gonna make me now sign into my whole account, isn't it? <laughs> Let's have a sip of water, guys, a second. Okay. Let me open this up and pull over my screen. It's open. It's just loading. All right, here we go. So here we go, me testing my master template, unsubscribe. If you want to stop getting emails from me, unsubscribe from this list. Then there's the email body. Then there's the footer. And you can unsubscribe from this list. So all I can do, doesn't matter which one I press, let's see what happens. So it's now going to say unsubscribe, unsubscribe successful. If you have a moment, please let us know. This is the pop-up that your people are going to see if you followed this training today. So I'm going to just say other, there are smells. All right, submit. Cool. Thank you for your feedback. Now let's see, did Sarah get unsubscribed? But you need to wait a second usually. I often just give it a little refresh, press the refresh button, give the screen a refresh, just let the data sync itself. <laughs> Hopefully, Sarah's been set to DND. If not, it's going to be an awkward moment. Get out your awkward turtles just in case. All right, here we go. Ta da! Sarah has now been set to DND because she unsubscribed. Test complete. Now, of course, I don't want to unsubscribe her, so I can just turn it off because I was just testing myself. All right, so I can just turn that off and now Sarah can get emails again. So there we have it, my friends, the overview of creating your unsubscribe links. I will drop this document inside the Techmatics Facebook group for you as well. Has that been helpful? Yes, all going to get that done today. Keep yourselves nice and concise. Good, glad yes, that. Uh, I'm, I getting a, I'm getting an email list of over 30,000 names, so I have to learn this stuff pretty quick within the next two weeks. Yeah, You sure do. So. And so, guys, just to give you an idea of these big changes that are coming up in the email regulation space, it's going to get tighter and tighter as time goes on for sure. Most servers now, if there is a bounce rate of more than 3%, you will have your domain reputation damaged. So one of the things I would highly recommend you do if you haven't done this recently, I do this every six months, is clean your email list. I'll show you where I recommend you do this. Now, there's a million different platforms you can use, but I use one called Never Bounce. Now, guys, unfortunately, it is expensive. However, it's saving the reputation of your domain. It's saving your domain from being basically shut down. If your 
domain is damaged in reputation because of a high bounce rate or a high spam report rate, your customers will simply not get your emails anymore forever. <laughs> so the little bit of expense you're going to have to just take as a requirement from this point onwards to make sure that your email list stays clean. So this is why we want that unsubscribe here to be as in your face as possible, because we'd rather people leave the list than report spam. OK, so I use this one here called Never Bounce. I've been using this for years. It's always been really, really good. And basically what you do with Never Bounce is you um, upload your email list to it. It will verify if all of the emails are real, because remember, a lot of people, especially as you start going out there, are going to begin to um, you're going to get a lot of fake email addresses for people opting into your stuff to get your freebies. And basically what you do is you upload it here and then it will clean your list. It will delete or remove or highlight any failed emails, unverified emails or emails that um, no longer work. So you don't get this bounce rate anymore. And the way that you do that, guys, I'll just show you again very quickly where you do this inside your contacts area over here. I just go back one. Let's come out of this, go into contacts inside your contacts area. Now, these are all my little dummy contacts right here, but you need to press the um, button at the very, very top and then select all records. So in this pretend account, I've got 65 contacts. I'm going to press select all. Now, all of them have been selected and then you press export contacts and then export contacts. And you'll see now that's actually downloaded a CSV file of all of my contacts right there. So now I would go into something like Never Bounce. I would pay. And if you, you can actually work out roughly what your costs will be, by the way. So, for instance, here I've got 65 emails. So let's pretend I've got 100 emails on my list. It's going to cost me 80 cents. Oh, in total. Is that right? Yeah, it's going to cost me 80 cents in total to clean that list. And what will happen is it usually takes a few minutes and it will come back saying this one is unverified, this one's bounced and this one's a dead email. You're going to then need to want to go through and delete all of those and then re-upload it back to your platform or set all the people that bounce to DND inside your system. And you can do that automatically. I won't go into um, into doing that today. But basically, you know, again, if you've got 20,000 contacts on your list, it's going to cost you 100 bucks for this system to verify it, clean it and give you that report back. So you can go back into your system and set them all to DND. Now, one of the things that I do to do that, guys, is I would um, then take that CSV file um, and I would pull up all of the people who had a warning all of the unverified, bounced or deads on it. And what I would do then is I would take all of the warning ones that I want to set to DND. I go back into my contacts over here. You're going to press import contacts, upload that file of all of your dead warning mm -mm ones that have come back from Never Bounce. And as that um, loads, I then say all of these contacts, so you've got to match all your fields. I'm going to press next. Oh, is it not going to let me do it because there's some fields unmerged? Um, do not, I do not want to do that one. Sorry, why can't, oh, don't import unmatched data. Next. Um, what do you want to call this import? So I would call this one um, all bad contacts from never bounce is what I would just put as a note to myself. These are all bad contacts. Um, we're gonna press create a list of contacts from the import, submit. Oh, I forgot to press advanced. Okay, I missed the whole point there. I was supposed to tag everybody. <laughs> but that's now gonna import all of these people and it's created a smart list. So now I can go to this smart list. As soon as they've all loaded, I can then select all and set to DND and set them all to DND in one lump bulk go, everyone on that contact list. And that keeps you nice and clean. All righty. I have to time it out right there because I do have another session to head off to, but um, that hopefully that gives you step-by-step step of what to do. Remember, there's 24-hour chat support on the bottom right of your Techmatics dashboard when you are logged into your account. If you're stuck on any of this and want to book a call with a tech expert, go to the Techmatics website 
click on the support tab on the menu. And from there, you can book a 15 minute support call or book a tech expert for an hour for just 50 bucks to help you out doing any techie services for you. Hope you found this good and helpful today. Happy teching. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys. Thank you.